Welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make an 80s style pop beat for Tory Lanez, maybe The Weeknd, something that sounds like this. Of course, this is the first video of 2022. I wanted to ask you guys to leave a comment below with any ideas you have for me, any suggestions for new things you want to see me do or more of stuff I've already done. Just let me know, leave a comment below right now. And yeah, let's get straight into it. These beats use a lot of synth, so I started off an analog lab. I just scrolled through the presets until I found one that I liked. This one's called ACC Luna. It's within the profit. The only thing I changed is bringing the cutoff up a little bit because I wanted to make the sound really big rather than filtered out. And I laid down these chords. Now that sounds cool, but the effects really make it stand out. First of all, it's a spring reverb. I made it really long. I kept it in between mono and stereo and the blend around 50% as well. After that, I added a delay. As you can see, the mix is at 100%, which you might be thinking, that's too much. That's kind of crazy. But what I did was automate it so it only comes in at certain points throughout the loop and it creates a really cool sound. That's why I kept the mix so high and the feedback and all the settings because I wanted to really exaggerate it at those certain points. So you can see the automation here and where it comes in and where it comes out and you'll hear it as well. And finally, I added it EQ. Next, I wanted to add to the groove straight away, so I found this very simple snap loop, and that just has an EQ filtering it out. After that, I recorded in a vocal melody. I didn't do any harmonies on this one, just a straight, simple vocal melody. I wanted to turn it into almost like a synth sound, and I'll show you how I did that later on. But for now, this is just a dry vocal. So first of all, I pitched it all the way up a whole octave. Then I went into this plugin called Vocal Synth. As you can tell by its name, you can turn vocals into synths. It has a bunch of different settings and things you can change, but I just stuck with a preset. And I also added a reverb, kept the mix at 100% because I wanted to really drown it out. There's also an EQ cutting a lot of the frequencies out, but I only brought that in when the drums come in for the verses and stuff like that. For the intro, the EQ is not on at all. And it sounds like this. Next, I moved on to the bass. I wanted to make it really stabby and short and groovy. So if you guys want to make beats like this, I'd highly recommend using the Oliver Power Tools drum kits. They're on Splice. There's three versions of them. There's loads of drums in there. They're super fire for these types of beats. And yeah, I started off with this bass. That just has an EQ cutting the really low frequencies out. Next is a snare, again from the same kit. Obviously very simple snare, but I've just done this little roll at the end, change the velocity just to make it a little bit more interesting. After that, I laid this pre-shifted snare underneath it. It adds a layer underneath the snare and it also kind of rises into it. I just messed around with the sample start and the out knobs just to get it fitting in time perfectly. I've only got it hitting on certain snares, so it's not coming in all the time, so it has more of an impact and it sounds like this. Next is another layer underneath the snare. This is more of an ambient perk. It's a rim shot with a bunch of reverb on it. Again, from Oliver's kit, and it sounds like this.
Next up we have this kick. I feel like the bounce for these types of beats comes from the kick. As you can hear, some of the kicks hit in between the bass notes, that just creates more bounce. So next, I added a melodic drum element. It's a tom, again, from Oliver's kit. So it's following the notes of the chords going down with them. So it's kind of creating this melodic element to the drums. Second to last for the drums, we have the hi-hats. So this first one is just a straight four-step hi-hat. As you can see with the second hi-hat, it's shifted to the right and it's also got lots of velocity changes. It may look simple, but these velocity changes are gonna do a lot for the sound. Finally, we've got this open hat at the end of every two bars. I added a couple more elements to give it a bridge and a hook section. So this is the bridge section. It's got the very simple bass, which sounds like this. Final melodic element I added is another synth. It's kind of a lead sound. It's called Nadir, it's from Loophole. And it's got a very simple melody, which sounds like this. So those are all the elements of the beat. Now I'm gonna move on to the structure and show you guys how I arrange the beat. So the intro just has the main synth, it's got the vocals without any filters on, and it's got the little perk loop we added. Next, we went for a verse. I kept it really short, so it's only eight bars. You'll be able to hear the filtered vocals in this one, and of course, all the drums. Then for the main hook section, we still have the re-space, but we have all the drums as well, and the counter melody, and the filtered vocals. So everything's coming in for a really big hook. So that's my attempt at an 80s style pop beat for Tory Lanes. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. As I mentioned earlier, if you've got any suggestions, please leave them in the comments. I'm all ears. I'm trying to listen to what you guys want. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, and I'll see you in the next one.